The first clip we'll be taking a look at today is called Beefcake, uploaded by the channel Mia Latola on July 10th, 2019. Now apparently much of the views this video got were from Critical, but I can't recall a video from him where he discussed this. It was probably through a stream he did sometime around 2019 or 2020. I found it while randomly scrolling through a subreddit, and oh boy I'm glad I did. It's one of many short films this account has posted, all incorporating some sort of weird and uncanny atmosphere. In Beefcake, it's due to the titular character, a man with a fucked up looking face. We see these two dancing in their kitchen, before Beefcake makes his presence known by telling this lady this. Hello, am I allowed to follow you home? And he follows through on this promise, and he is then seen stalking her in her backyard and in a random flower field. Once she returns home, she gets into bed and takes a nap. This gives Beefcake the opportunity to break in and sneak up the stairs, but once at the top, he trips over himself and rarely falls out the window. There doesn't seem to be any underlying themes here, just a bizarre short film about someone being stalked by this inanimate corpse. Watch the video yourself and see if you can decipher it in the comments below. Here's another short film, this time one from May 2008. Titled Pencil Face, this video is uploaded by the channel Scad Shorts. They have a bunch of other weird shorts I could possibly go over in another episode, but today let's focus on this one. It begins with this little girl out in a desert, right by an abandoned road. She stumbles upon this big ass pencil with what I can only describe as having a shit eating grin. She takes the pencil and begins drawing this weird shape, which then transforms into a giant cake. She then draws a kite and begins playing with it. After doing that for what seems like several hours, she decides to draw a lollipop. In attempting to do so, she accidentally draws a vortex of some kind. She stupidly walks towards it and gets stuck right in. The pencil just stares at it with the same devious grin. What really adds to the short's horror vibe is the score of it. The background music is kind of like a demonic circus that gets more intense as the video goes on. Many think this video is a metaphor on not talking to strangers or even rape, but really it seems to have parallels with humanity's creations. The girl draws things she knows what she wants, despite them not looking like them at first. During her final attempt, it comes out way differently than she imagined, leading to her doom. It's seen as representing the creation of technology, where it starts out good but it gets way out of control eventually. Though as usual, it's up for interpretation. So about a year and a half ago, I covered the channel Horror Cooking, which makes these weird ASMR style cooking videos. A big part of these was the use of claymation, which allowed the creators to make some creepy ass content. This here is a similar channel called Pluna Tick which has a resounding 12 million subscribers. How does it have that many? Well, kids of course. Kids are obviously going to click on more engaging thumbnails, and engaging these are. The most popular video has over 178 million views, where the person eats a fake brain, tongue, and eyeballs. So basically, cannibalism. This was released during the heat of Elsagate, back when lots of kids' content featured inappropriate material. 
and I know kids watch these because the comments are flooded with people saying this made their childhood. Oh, and the warning at the beginning says, this is not real, don't try this at home. Yeah, no shit. These are legitimately bad videos. I don't know about you, but I hate ASMR eating noises. It's just unpleasant and gross. And these make it worse by having the cameraman eat stuff like a toy mermaid, an alien, and Jake Paul? Just felt like mentioning that this channel has a total of 4.2 billion views. What the actual hell? Though it must be said that this channel doesn't get as many views anymore. Most uploads gain an average of 100,000 views now. This here is from the really obscure YouTube channel called Spicy Horse, which released a bunch of short films they seem to have made. Some of the titles reference a release year, some of those being all the way back in the 90s. A few involve the character Hartley Hare, who originates from a 70s puppet show called Pipkins that aired on ATV in Britain. The puppeteer behind him in these videos tries to do his best impression of Hartley's original Cockney accent. I might have to call Michael and be naughty. Mm, yes, still, I think it's time to pull a prank. On Deborah Dragon. Besides that, there isn't much else interesting about these puppet videos. They're just bizarre. The other videos, though, definitely piqued my interest. One 2012 short titled Tin Toilet features the titular character eating a thing, spinning, and shrinking into nothingness. Oh, and the music here is creepy as fuck. I can't play any more because it's copyrighted. This would be genuinely terrifying if heard in the middle of the night. The description says that the short was a flash film and made by Spicella Horsensen, a name that I'm not sure is real or not. There's other videos of this channel owner playing instruments and cooking with the use of another weird puppet. This next video is a really cool art piece uploaded by YouTube user Snordster called Tell Your Fucking Truth. Now I'm not going to play any audio from it, as not only is the background music copyrighted, but it's also the video I recommend you watching the most. The link is in the description as always. It's a visual representation of a poem written by Jeff Foster, which persuades the reader, or listener, to tell the truth and not bottle it up with lies, and not the nice truth, the ugly truth. The visuals are what really stood out to me though, the striking CG art style, which matches well with what's being read out. So there's this viral clip from Britain's Channel 4 that was uploaded in 2016, showcasing the life of Tom. Tom likes to pretend to be a dog, and dresses up like one of the creepiest get-ups ever. He's not a furry, but instead a rubber pup, who gets naked and wears a skin-tight suit of a Dalmatian. He calls himself Spot, and keeps his suit at his friend Rachel's house. The depressing part is, the two were about to get married at one point. They separated due to his weird fetish, though for some reason she still allows him to come over and pretend to be a dog. It's fucking bizarre and creepy when you think about it. I do theatre work, so I sort of hide in the dark, um, through the sound and the lights and that kind of thing. I don't want to be seen at work. Um, I don't want to be seen in the public eye, but as my pup life, I want to be the centre of attention. In the full documentary, you can actually see him and another rubber pup being walked out in the open. I get the whole argument of, Oh, they're not hurting anyone, but this is where I draw the line. They're out disturbing the public, including children. This is a fetish, not some harmless hobby that's kept indoors. I mean, they're literally wearing harnesses and shit. I don't buy it, I promise. <laughs> I thought they were doing it for some uh, charity or a cause. If it is not, then... <laughs> I actually couldn't finish watching the documentary, it's just really cringe. They spend quite a lot of time justifying this behavior despite what's being presented. And half the comments on it are just those of the Islamic faith inciting prayer, so make of that as you will. In a similar vein to the last segment, this channel features people dressing up as animals, this time with paint and prosthetics instead of skin tight rubber, and it's honestly creepier. Called Humanimals, this channel has been posting since 2009, still being active as of earlier this year. 
It's a lot like North Fur, in which it showcases animal disguises for you to buy. Also like North Fur, its clips have been used in many horror videos. You've probably seen this deer before, somewhat due to a fake news story of this individual actually identifying as a deer and being shot in the woods. The comments on it are split between furries being turned on and people memeing on him. Other animal designs featured on this channel include foxes, lions, horses, tigers, dogs, and rabbits. The video that stuck out to me the most was this one featuring a husky guy. He's out in public somewhere on a busy street, choosing to interact with little kids. In fact, a lot of these type of videos exist on the Humanimals channel, with the comments usually being way too supportive. Again, I wouldn't care if these people were doing this shit in the privacy of their own homes, but this is out in public. Though sadly, this sort of behavior is way too common nowadays. The End is an old YouTube animation uploaded by Fade Defy all the way back in 2006. It's done in CG in this eerie black and white style, telling the story of a scarecrow who doesn't want to scare off magpies. He's called out by the other scarecrows and gets sentenced to prison by the court. The magpie ends up visiting and pesters him. He's torn apart piece by piece until every part of him is free from confinement. It's a really moving short film, which can be interpreted in so many ways like a good short would. The best interpretation comes from the top commenter, Andrew. He says, the Scarecrow represents his life. He was born a Scarecrow and is the way of his society to scare crows. Instead of scaring the crow, he embraces it as his true passion in life, until society denied him of it and threw him in prison for it. The crow, passion, picked at him until it set him free from his imprisonment in society. This is the only video up on this channel, and this doesn't seem to be a re-upload. The only credits listed are old Yahoo email addresses, which might not even work anymore. Now this next video I actually talked about years ago on this channel back in 2019, but I want to discuss it again since that was so long ago. Titled, My Dead Great Grandma's Coffin in My Own Backyard. It was uploaded by DJ Def Joey in 2010. The video features an older man showcasing just that. It starts with a banger intro, which shows that he has a great taste in music despite not being able to hear. He introduces himself through American Sign Language, with subtitles at the bottom of the screen. He uses all the best features of Windows Movie Maker, which really adds to the bizarre nature of what's to come. He showcases his great-grandmother's coffin, which was dug up due to low maintenance at her cemetery. He then opens it up like a goddamn unboxing video and films her mummified corpse. Now I'm blurring this, but the original isn't and was never age-restricted or taken down. He then, I shit you not, Kisses it over and over again, even on the lips. The only noise you hear is Joey's heavy breathing. It ends with credits, listing himself and his great-grandmother as the cast. Not only can I not believe this is still up, but that it even exists in the first place. And I'm sure this Joey guy is probably a nice person, but it's hard not to feel creeped out by him. What many don't know about is that he filmed a second video of him kissing her corpse. This is flat out necrophilia. He also has a video where he holds his grandfather's skull, and another where he discusses the health benefits of marijuana. Truly, one of the YouTubers of all time. 
Finally, I'll finish this episode by going over the channel Rudolph the Tall White Alien. He's a crazy conspiracy theorist from Germany who seems to legitimately think he's an alien. In his first video posted on June 15th, 2015, he proclaims this. White people are not human. White people, including myself, all stick together, know the truth which they do not want to admit to you. White people are out of space. We come from another galaxy. We all know our home planet, which we don't want to reveal because we don't want to be attacked. And we have no good attention with you. We do not want to share our wealth with you. We do not want to share our knowledge with you. Yes, he thinks all white people are aliens and that the homeworld is a hidden secret to protect it from invasion. Rudolph has since made other videos discussing similar theories, like that there are secret portholes for travel, you can get superpowers, and that you can switch dimensions. I assume this guy is being legit and isn't a troll, though I can't say the same for the comments. He's literally made 500 of these videos where he just sits down and rambles about aliens and magic and shit. He's even released music, quite a lot of it. Because of the shadows, everything arises. Everything will show its face. What I found most interesting about Rudolph's channel was the inclusion of Amy, who is either a friend or family member of his. She seems to believe just as heavily in these conspiracy theories and is promoting various amulets, which are meant to protect you from the supposed tall white aliens. Here are a few examples of some of our custom tall white alien protective amulets. To inquire, please email amytallwhite at gmail.com. Thank you. It's definitely the strangest piece of media I've ever seen in a long time, not helped by the fact that it blurs the line of being some crazy old man or just the internet's most elaborate hoax. Also, fun fact, his Twitter page is only 5 followers and contains nothing but 2 retweets from the Ridiculousness page. 